Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Lil Woody, who was a star witness for the prosecution in the YSL Young Thug Rico case, recently had another encounter with the police. Well, I guess it wasn't really an encounter, and they got behind him. It is not known whether they actually pulled him over, but he was on live, you know, chopping it up, talking about, I think, something that had to do with the Bible. And he was really cool, calm, and collected until they got behind him, and he was like, he was just driving, yeah, 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 man, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that 12? Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard somebody from the streets use goodness and gracious together. Like, I've never heard that phrase, goodness gracious, <laughs> from a street dude. <laughs> Yeah, he was shook. <laughs> Slid the seatbelt on. <laughs> Let me tell you something, fam. It don't matter how gangster you are. When the police get behind you, <laughs> you stiff it up. <laughs> you like, hey. Even if you ain't did nothing, even if you got a clean record, even if you ain't nowhere remotely a gangster. You just be like, the police come around. You just be like, man, I hope they ain't trying to pull me over. Yeah, man. Now, if you add to the fact that you're a black man in America and the police pull you over, now nah, it ain't so funny. It really ain't funny because they got uncivilized much out here on these streets and they target black men. That's right, I said it. They target black men. But Lil Woody, I'm surprised that, well, he couldn't help it. I was about to say I'm surprised he uploaded that, but he couldn't help it. He was live. <laughs> That's the danger of going live. It's live. So whatever go down is captured forever on the internet. Captured forever. And Lil Woody, I know he didn't mean for it to go down like that, but at the same time, he said, goodness gracious. Lil Woody is one of those dudes, it appears to me that his intrusive thoughts gets the best of him too often. Like, whatever he thinks, it just comes out. Like, whatever it is, and oftentimes, it's humorous. Not so humorous when he's snitching on you, but you know what I'm saying, fam. Funny as hell. Here's the trip thing about the police getting behind you. Some of them do it to intimidate you. Some of them do it to shake you up. And they'll follow you and follow you and follow you. And they're looking for some reason to pull you over. And really, if they just really want to pull you over, they don't even need a reason. They'll just go ahead and do it. But if you drive long enough, they'll come up with some reason to pull you over. Now that right there, that ain't cool. And I've actually heard a cop or two on the internet brag about getting behind people and making them nervous. Yeah, that is some uncivilized mutt behavior. And those type of people need to be brought to heel. But what say you fam, drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.